Hi dear friends, this is Essie Mesa, hope you are doing well. So I want to share with you some decks on my desk at the moment. I'm so much enjoying using my tarot decks and oracle decks um, and the variety I have them, the more <laughs> time I spend with these, they bring me more passion and more love for the imaginary world uh, tarot allows me to enter. So um, I did a video about the autumn decks, uh, if you want to check it out. And this is a kind of continuation uh, about the decks that I'm using also for autumn and the combination that I am having with them. Um, so yeah, I will start right away with the, um, the Blood Moon Tarot. I am in love with this deck. I am using it nonstop for my daily draws. It has a quite interesting vibe, you know, for, uh, you know, the, the, the imagery, the guidebook, which is amazing. You know, it's, it is harmonious. It has different like aspects that I love. Uh, the bees, the, the waters and so on. And I'm using it extensively with the uh, Become an Oracle. And I added recently, I added uh, another deck, which is the... Um, the uh, fifth spirit tarot the miners mostly you know the, I, I think i did a video about it too if you want to check out how i'm using this one so the let's say let's say <laughs> these two are magical they are collaborating in a such good way uh maybe i can add like because i'm having like a three minimum three cards draw so i want to show like a variety here all right, have a space. Here we go. <laughs> so um, I don't know if it's the aspect of watercolor that makes these. Uh, you see the magic that starts taking place. Uh, we are the Orion constellation, the chariot. The, so there is the movement, the movement in magic in these cards. And you see these faces um, and the colors, you know, the violet color. Um, I love this. The Emperor, we have Scorpio, we have Atlantis and the Fool. But you see the doorway, the portal. These seem like a doorway um, to the kingdom or to the world. What am I offering to you? What is being offered? What are the knowledge, uh, the knowledge that you have been avoiding for some time? Um, it calls for action also because we have the emperor in the middle uh, asking us to act forward, to move forward. Um, it's way, always my cards in the reverse. <laughs> we have the hermit, we have Hathor. All right, here we go. Sorry for the organization. <laughs> so we have Poseidon, the water, the hermit. We have Hathor and five of skin. All right, so look at the faces. Look at the mirror. Look at the... Um, mm, it feels that there is a diving deep. I love this water element also coming forward. Diving deep into the uh, the the immensity we have inside, rediscovering the inner conflicts with love and unconditional uh, love, compassion. So here we have uh, Archangel Sondalfon with the Knight of Dreams. We see already these kind of swords uh, coming forward. We have Sekhmet and we have the Eight of Songs. So it's loss. Then we know the story of Sekhmet, you know, the loss that transformed her into a fierce goddess that was killing everyone. Um, so maybe there is an aspect of killing the, uh, the not killing, but maybe dealing with, dealing with things that uh, are limiting us or the emotions that we have delved into by habit, for example, and so on. So I'm just giving you an example of the types of reading I'm having with these, with these, and just like another example. So here we have 
uh, Ten of Skins, we have The Magician, and the music aspect with these two is very pleasant too. We have Neptune, again, the, the, the planet, we have the, 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 the fluidity, the memory of the water also coming, not just the, you know, we saw Poseidon, but here we have Neptune, the celestial aspect. And the Ten of Skins, where everything is so heavy. This is Ten of Wands. Everything is so heavy. And I'm being overwhelmed. Sometimes we get even overwhelmed by the memories that we get or the work or the ideas or the projects that we want to fulfill. And in when this happens, light has to come in. <clears throat> light has to be announced. I love Archangel Gabriel coming with divine message illuminating the darkness we... <clears throat> we jumped into because we wanted so much or we had so much and the magician then maybe an invitation to do things that you love things with passion instead of wanting to realize everything just be selfish sometimes and focus on what brings you pleasure so this is a quick example about uh, this this combination and then i uh add like one last card or to to add like or to confirm the messages that uh that comes i love using these minors because they are like mm, could be an affirmation or just uh, uh ding, don't forget this <laughs> i i really enjoy using it in this way all right let me show you another pair that i'm really quite happy about I... <clears throat> So this is the She-Wolf Tarot, um, nudity present, so uh, be mindful about who you are watching this with. <laughs> and I have the <clears throat> Shamanic Oracle deck. They are too big, I cannot have like, <laughs> maybe just cutting these two here. All right, so this was a surprise for me. I don't know how I came through <laughs> to um, to discover <laughs> that they were a good uh, pair, but okay, you see, you see the the flow, Queen of Cups, the Time Master, the mist, the the mastery coming here. Uh, we see the Ace of Swords with the Sorcerer and the Smoky Mirror. Very interesting. Talking about the clarity, divination. These two are very, very, I would say. Um, Priestessy, priest, pre, it, it, it's for my priestesshood work. It's for my oracle. It's the oracle, the daily oracle that one can have. So here we have the divine feminine, the beloved, and the serpent. Yeah, what I was talking about. You know, priestessy, priestesses. Look, look what I'm having here. Um, we have the divine masculine, and we have the gatherer and water. Do you see the, the, the hands, the what am I holding to? Um, I really love the water's presence in the masculine. Oh, all right. Five of Wands. The, circle, the circles are very present also in these cards. And Stand Still. Love this one. And do you see this part here? It's as if... The conflict can bring you to a bigger understanding of your desires because you have to uh, express them. You have to defend what is really dear for you. I love these hands all together. Even a conflict is part of the lesson. So don't forget yourself in it. See the biggest teaching of it. Ace of Wands, the hunter and the lower world. <laughs> I love this kind of lights and the the... You know, it feels like a journey. So the hunter and the lower world, we, we have a journey in the Ace of Wands, maybe a journey to find an inspiration. What is important for today? What is the next project? We have the fool and the corn. Do you see again the circles? The, tr the trip, you know, you can even imagine this circle being the spiral. This is a journey. <laughs> and maybe this could be the purpose, you know. What is it there for me to um, mm, um, maybe develop or cultivate, let's say. All right, we do another one. 
Cosmic Union, I love this one. The Ghost Dance and the Heart of the Sky. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I have like an ecstasy, you know? I feel ecstatic when I use these two together. Um, the Heart of Sky, you see these planets, like it feels like a, a cosmic union with the planets, with everything. And the dance, the ghost dance is, is merging, but it's by merging with celestial beings, with, the, with, the, with it's, it's by reaching oneness that we can dance, you know, even shamanically. All right, I said one last, but I'm really loving this. So, I, okay, this would be the one last, 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 last. <laughs> Many paths, six of cups, the journey. You see already these two talking about a journey, path. Uh, I love these two having different paths. Sometimes you are with uh, old friends and, you know, you have evolved in, in different ways. So it feels like the same source, but different paths. Maybe uh, enjoying and embodying the difference, knowing that it exists for a reason and so on. Okay, so... This is the pairs that I have been using. All right, let's go for another one. Um, I'm really enjoying these Oracle decks all together. Let me just put them together here. <laughs> so this is a walking path. Um, I don't know if you see this spider going on. <laughs> I love the walking path um, as a, a meditative as a meditative uh, card or the focus card of the day. And of course, I love the unicorns. <laughs> so let's show you here how both enlighten our day with an anchor from the celestial realm, let's say, or from the space of nothingness. And here, open your heart and listen. Manifest your dreams with the dawn like something new coming in story with a oneness feels like even also the earth earth message and celestial message darkness divine potential oh my goodness i i turned these cards so many times i <laughs> hope you are patient with me soul healing the moon violet flame shape i love this kind of Flowy, flowy, flowy side. Cosmic diamond. Ah, oh, let me see. This one is naivete. Ah, oh, it's just lovely. The colors are just amazing. It's a healing bath you receive. One last tear we have hidden with I am presence. All right. So these are on my desk. And let me show you other decks that I am using too. Um, all right, let me see here. I'm using this uh, relationship deck. And the, oh, the Woven Path Tarot. So um, I know you've seen these decks <laughs> on my previous uh, videos, but... I must say that I'm really loving using these, right? It's I, I even got second copies because I suspected that I would be using them so much. Um, and just to make sure that I can carry them on my journeys and travels and things like that. So this, this deck is very... Um, I, I use it with this one here. I think I showed you this despair before, the Forest Fairies uh, Oracle deck. But for now, I'm really using it by itself and trying to find other pairings for it. We'll see that, you know, I let myself be surprised. Uh, so I'll show it maybe later. Um, and I, I kept the... Um, I wonder if I did... I wanted to do a video especially for this one. And I wonder if I did it or not yet. So I have so many ideas for videos. Here we have the Eight of Swords and Taurus. I left the um, astrological signs in the deck. Four of Wands with Ace of Wands. Five of Wands with Queen of Cups. And every card is like a storytelling, uh, a myth or a tale. 
I really love these two together. Scorpio with Eight of Wands. Turn in the cards again. <laughs> Queen of Coins with the Hierophant. We love Lady. The Lovers with the Empress. And one last strength with the Emperor. We really love these two. So you see, the even the style could be different, but not that different, like the 78 Tarot, uh, if you know them. It feels harmonious. It feels that they belong to the same world. And I re really, really, I'm really appreciating this uh, and the curiosity it brings me. Um, other texts that I have been using. Um, this one is a deck that I got in Greece. It's called uh, the Cards of Inspiration Flow of Self-Knowledge. The cards feel like a scroll that you just got from the Akashic Records. <laughs> the illustrations are kind of different, right? The, the type of cards and everything is different about this deck. And that's something I really enjoy. And it has been really... Um, on point, you know, on some advice, uh, suggesting me, suggesting that I go towards the um, ex um, creative expression to face some fears. Uh, I love this parallel universe. You see, the illustrations make you stop and think and notice and observe. Quite different and I'm really enjoying it. I didn't have to look for parents for this one yet. But I think that a vision, tarot of the visions or something like that would work for this one. Yeah, uh, it's very, very fun to have and very, has this aspect of the feminine always present, the goddess presence from the back. I really love. All right. So maybe one last that I could show you. And it is the, all right, let me just put this one here. Fantastic Creatures Tarot by Lisa Hunt. One of the best decks that I have, to be honest. I just love, love, love this one. Filled with magic. Um, I'm so happy also to know that um, her other deck, you know, the fairy tale or something like that, I think, is going to be re uh, published again by US Games, because I really think her decks are worth the uh, are worth to be and stay on the market. They are divinely made. They are rich with symbolism. They are very shamanic, um, wise, and come from. A deep deep wise part <laughs> of I, I believe of her or the creators that she works with also or the authors so if you are fan of creators and magical beings and mythical beings this deck is for you really I wish it could be bigger because the illustrations are really amazing yeah I really love it and uh, just briefly, also the relationship, because I, you know, it's it's always fun to check, you know, the where am I doing, where what am I doing, and where am I in my relationships? Because you know, sometimes you dive in like a horse <laughs> in in some partnerships, or you know, and it's fun also to decide uh, to stop and wait and see. And look at the energies. What, what is it that I need to focus on? So this one has been helpful also. All right. I will stop for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to come back to share with you uh, more, you know, about my practice and so on. I wonder what you are uh, working with at the moment and the best pairings you are having. So much love. Talk to you soon.